Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting video here on Operation RV. And just like the title says here, we're going to be installing a third air conditioning unit in the 318 BHS, and that's made by Evergreen Sun Valley. If you followed my videos before, this unit already has two air conditioners. Uh, the first one was equipped above the kitchen. I did install the second one that was prepped in the master bedroom cabin. Now in the bunk house, you know, this is Texas, it's 96 degrees in July. We need a third AC unit and it's unprepped. So stick around and look how I go ahead and install a third Coleman Mach 13,500 BTU air conditioner in Texas. Stick around. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start off by getting this rig cooled down. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you here, I'm gonna be using my Champion 4000. Um, there is a video down here at the end screen if you wanna go ahead and check out that video. But it is gonna go ahead and cool it down. It is dual um, fuel. So today I'll be going ahead and using the uh, Blue Rhino Propane. So let's go ahead and get this turned on. And we're gonna get it cranked up and see what we got here. All right, guys, it's up and running. Let's go ahead and go back in the cabin and open up these slides. So we're cooling down the rig. We are back here in the bunkhouse. Uh, this is the skylight here. Uh, off camera, I went ahead and did take off the uh, few screws here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take this off off camera and show you what we got inside. Okay, everything is off now. Uh, so these are the pre-existing wires that are inside. Um, what I believe these are, and I will test with my multimeter, is it goes to the back here. So I wanna say it's gonna be for these lights. So I'll go ahead and test that here momentarily, and then we'll go from there. All right, now we just muscle it up here, step by step. On the roof. Hey guys, all right, rooftop here. So here's just a few essentials, give or take. Uh, we got a multimeter, we have a Phillips and straight electrical tape and a utility knife, along with our new Mach 3 13.5 AC unit. Uh, what we're going to be doing here momentarily is using our tools up here to get off all this old uh, sealant, which I'll go ahead and demonstrate in a minute, so we can get access to the sunlight, have it removed, and go ahead and drop her in. Alright, so here's where you want to be kind of d uh, delicate, you don't want to tear your roof. Uh, so this is the metal, so what I just do like this you just grab a screwdriver and you're just going to kind of go along and it's a tedious process but this is what we got to do to unseal it and then we're going to pull it off i'll go ahead and uh save the mundane footage off camera stay tuned all right so getting a cordless this is the give or take here it's going to be a lot faster uh to get these uh screws out you can see here. they just back right out just like that go ahead and do this other one here All right, she's off. It's all exposed now down into the bunk room, the bunk house here. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and get the rest of this stuff off. We're gonna go get it cleaned up really nice. We're gonna unbox the AC so you guys stick around. We're gonna drop it in. All right, guys, it's all cleaned up around the, the side there. We're gonna get her unboxed and dropped in. Okay, here we go. Now we're just gonna go ahead and lift it out of these uh, sides here. Okay, so this is the bottom side here, and you see this gray gasket, okay? That is actually what we need to line up right over this hole. And what this gasket's gonna do is when we go inside and put the inner shroud on, it's gonna sink, it's gonna sink this, this part right here, this gray part, all the way down so where it gets a good mesh and adhesiveness uh, to the outer part of this uh, sunlight so let's go ahead and uh, move this over and get it positioned now that we have it lined up uh, with this here what I'm gonna do is just slowly lower this down let's see just like this I'm gonna go on the inside and get it all positioned square and start with putting the, uh, the inner dials the screws on the inside so it kind of bites down on each other and adheses to the uh, the roof here okay so we're inside the uh, bunkhouse here and what we're trying to do is if you see this gray pad it's kind of offset a little bit on that side 
over too much here. This side is over too much this way, just like that. As you go around, see it's too far out. So what we're gonna do then is kind of lift up on the unit. We're gonna position it where it's more square and unified to match up with this hole. That's the, that's the idea. Let's see. Okay, that's pretty good. It's flush there. It's pretty flush there. Uh, it can come over a little bit this side, so let's push it up a little bit. Okay. So what that does, it allows these holes here to line up more from a vertical view. So the plate that I'm about to show you now mounts uh, flush. And basically what it's going to do is, let me demonstrate, as we go to screw those in, this gasket, as you see, the camera can pick up, see the outside there. What that's going to do is, see how I'm, pull, I'm pushed down on, that, on this foam right here? Just like this, watch. See outside there? And as you squeeze down on this foam, like this, it'll act as a suction and keep all rain and debris out. So let's go ahead and uh, put on the, the center section. The top portion here, let's go ahead and get this open. Alright, there we are. Here's all the different parts. There's the model number. And these are going to be the foam system here. And this is going to be all the, the shroud. The inner shroud. Let's get this open and taken out. Okay, we've got the shroud out here, and uh, this is the, I guess, the ceiling side. So that's gonna be your ducting here that will screw on here. Uh, this is your mounting plate, which I'll show you here in a minute uh, what we do with that, along with the bolts and all the electrical hardware knobs. Uh, and our just pre-screened or filters, so those are your filters, which I'll show you up here on, on this side. Uh, so let's go ahead and go back into the bunkhouse. Okay, first step for um, mounting this to the ceiling and it comes with this gasket here. We're gonna go ahead and remove this adhesive and we're gonna set it right over this metal plate and then we'll use these uh, bolts here and we're gonna mount this up to the ceiling just like that. Got the bolts now in and this is what I meant earlier about making sure that you're all, you're all lined up being square. Uh, so as you see, my finger is still here. Uh, what we're gonna do is take uh, your additional drill with an eight millimeter. And what you're gonna do is go ahead and draw this closer, equally all the way around, just like this, just like that. All the way around. And, Okay, just till it kind of bites the ceiling there. And then we'll do it equally all the way around to where it snugs in. All right, so here's the part where you want to kind of do turn by turn to make sure you're equal all, all the way around. So let's check it out. You can see everything kind of squeezing together there. And that's, the, that's what we're wanting. So we do this same step equally all the way around just like that and I won't bore you with all of this we'll go ahead and get all this situated and then we'll come back here to the next step next on the list here is the ducting uh, so you're just going to take three of your screws here that come in your kit and you're going to put them here here and here which they're already kind of pre-punched and tapped here for you so you're going to take the ducting that has uh, the two holes here on this side. Let me see here. Just like this. Up there. And then match it up to those two. Like that. So we're going to grab these uh, screws and I'll do this off camera. And we'll get the ducting on there. Go ahead and lift this off the shroud here. Uh, this is what's going to be kind of facing up like, like so. And your ducting is what we're gonna be putting on the inside of this, okay? And then our wiring, let me go ahead and span out, since this is non-prepped unit, I will be running 
Um, along down here, I'll be tapping a hole outside. We're going to be running uh, 10 to 12 gauge up over over here and so it'll come in here the wiring and that's where it'll come through this port here a 10 to 12 gauge wire and then we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and mash those up to uh, the neutral ground and positive we'll tuck all those in the box we'll get this mounted here up top like that and literally put on this plate uh, with the remaining screws and like this just like that and then we're going to put on our knobs right here and we are essentially done guys um, so go ahead and stick around I'm going to go ahead and get the remainder of this all done and then I'll show you here momentarily what we're going to do to run this line out so we can connect uh, the outlet box to the pedestal using a, a 30 amp plug. All right guys, the uh, shroud's on and I don't have this stuck on there yet. I'll do it later, but to give you an idea, cause I still got to run that wiring is uh, now that we've got the shroud on, you go ahead and put your dials in. So this first one here, that's Chrome. That's going to be your, uh, your thermostat and see it, it's only one direction. It's like a half moon. So you just put the half moon like that on this switch right here. This is your thermostat. And then this is your selector of your high, low, medium, cool fan. Same thing, put your little half moon there, how that sits like this. And they're on. So this is your indicator of where you're at. Right now it's off. And then when you turn it on, you can go over to low fan uh, low or low fan, high fan, low cool, high cool, all the way back to off. This is your thermostat. It's on heat, and you just keep that over to cool, just like that. All right, now we'll go ahead and put the uh, filters on and vents, and we'll be running our lines. Okay, guys. So here's the outlet box. It's going to be going outside. It is a kit. It does come with the uh, the whole. A GFCI box and everything so that's everything on that list we got a male end here and we got a 12 gauge extension cord which we'll be splicing this end off later and installing this so there's gonna be two male ends and of course a 12 gauge Romex which we're gonna be connecting here and running it out and around and out Go ahead and get your Romex. Go ahead and uh, strip you down about two inches worth. Um, that way you'll have enough to go ahead and, and get acclimated with this switch panel. And then go ahead and then remove a little bit of the insulation here. So on the bottom side of the switch panel, you want to run your yellow Romex here through the back. Go ahead and tighten it down here with the Phillips screws. Uh, this is your thermostat wire, so just kind of leave it hanging for a minute. So now that we're flipped over, this is the thermostat side. And of course, we're gonna attach everything accordingly. White with white, black uh, black with black, and then of course, this green wire here will be ground. So we're gonna go ahead and put these wire, wire nuts on it, get it all electrical taped up, and then I'll show you the next step. All right, the wiring is now all done. We've got the wing nuts and everything taped off. So in your kit here, you're gonna have this little triangular piece with two screws. We're gonna get these uh, wires now bent down and tucked down in there and get this cap on and we're going to continue on all right the shroud's now on wiring is over run it down and now we're here at the corner back part of the rig here in the bunkhouse i've already kind of pre-measured everything outside so right here is the level on the outside where uh, the bumper kind of meets so my brake my side light is about right here so, you know, that's why you need to go outside and check because you definitely don't want to drill into your light. So I pre-measured it, about two of, two of these, so roughly six inches in length, um, which is pretty much the same thing as a screwdriver. So here is where I'm going to drill my hole, and then uh, I'm going to go from there.
how's all the styrofoam insulation here? All right, we're outside and the water is now through. We're looking through the side there. Uh, I do have the, the panel out here, the outlet switch. It is lockable if you, want, if you need a lock, a lock on it. And there's the GCI there. And I'll go ahead and take everything apart and show you how to get it wired up. So I went ahead and cut this piece off and I went ahead and added our new mail plug. It's pretty much self-explanatory. There's three prongs here. Uh, the bottom one, that's gonna be your ground. And then you can do your um, black or white, whichever side. And literally we're just gonna put this up in here like that with the three, sc three sc screw holes. And we're gonna make that up to its service. And then we'll use these two to tighten down the plug. So it's uh, stationary and doesn't move. Okay, the box is all mounted up. The GFCI is all attached. We've got the test and reset. Uh, so now that we've gone ahead and got this mounted and our plug with both, both mill ends, we're gonna go ahead and uh, plug one in here, which I like using the light. This side has a light on it, if I'm not mistaken. I guess we'll see. We'll have that plugged in just like that. And now we're going to go plug this other end here to shore power. Okay guys, we got the mill end connected to shore power. And let's go ahead and go over here to our adapter we put. A quick update too, you might notice the outlet is different. Um, I learned that you cannot um, reverse the circuitry and the uh, GFCIs. So I was not getting power. So I went ahead and put in a heavy duty regular wall outlet. Uh, that's rated for 15 to 20 amps. So you can't use that GFCI. If you can, definitely drop the comments down there. Let me know what you think on that. But I want to put an update on that and we're all good to go. We are all good to go, guys. We've got it on high cool. We've got on the, the coolest uh, temperature setting. Uh, right now I have uh, these guides here uh, bringing air out here and on this side also a huge dump because that's where the your ducting is that blows the air out so what you need what you can do is you can um, maneuver this around to uh, angle your air or you can close them off and get more air out the sides here so do a quick uh, dump so you can get your uh, bunkhouse cool just go ahead and do that of course you can adjust your settings there um, I'll go ahead and just use a couple tacks here, uh, wire hold downs, um, get all that with some wire loom, and call that a day. That's it. That's how you run a third AC in an unprepped RV. No matter if it's a fifth wheel travel trailer, twin hauler, whatever you want to call it. Uh, hey guys, uh, go ahead and drop me those comments down there below. Go and hit that uh, subscribe button. Click the bell notification for all my upcoming videos. Uh, go ahead and share my information. I also have a big thanks button. If you do want to donate, you can donate to something as small as a dollar. Um, and all those uh, amounts that get donated go right back into my channel so I can go ahead and produce more videos. I do have a store, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video. Uh, it's https colon forward slash forward slash operation rv dot printify dot me. Until guys, uh, next time, God bless.